Welcome back guys. Today we're going to work on this dryer um, and we're just going to open it up and see what we got going on on it. So let's get started. Alright guys, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take this back off and see what we got inside. Alright, so that allowed us to get into here. And what my goal is, is to try to get all of this out. Now this is a gas dryer. So it is going to be a little bit different than what I'm used to for dryers. Let's see what I open. Try to just pop this open, and see if it'll pop up. All right, we're going to try to lift this up and see what we got on this side. Pull out the screen. Alright, let's pull out the dryer screen because there's two screws here. And take those two off. And we'll be able to see what we got going on from the inside down. Alright, so now we should be able to lift this up. Take this piece off and see if I can disconnect the um, things from the other side. You know what? Let me see. Ha, huh, that works perfectly. These are actually quarter inch screws. I'm hoping by doing this, I can just unplug all the controls right now. I've never opened up a, a gas dryer like this. So I'm just hoping I can get the things that I want to get out of it. Alright, so that allowed me to go ahead and take the backing off. Alright, so what we got here is we got a couple connectors all throughout here. And we're going to go ahead and disconnect all of this stuff.
without doing all that back there, I should be able to lift this top right off. There we go. Now I'm just going to feed all the wires through. And I'm able to take the top off. All right, to get to the front panel, I've got a screw there and a screw right there that I have to take off. That allowed the door to pop open a little bit and lift up. And that separates the door. Okay, so that's all metal back there. Here's the drum. So, to get the, the drum off, the only thing I think that's actually holding the drum is the belt. So I'm going to push on the tensioner here, grab it, and then I'm going to hold the tensioner in place and move the belt. All right, so now, now that I got the belt off, I'm just going to lift it up, and I can pull the drum right off. All right, so now, now that I got the belt off, I'm just going to lift it up, and I can pull the drum right off. And that is what the inside looks like. So we got the motor there. Now the electrical cables. Here is the heater. So that heats up. Blows the air into this chamber. There's the hot over here, and then the lint, the lint would go out there. It's starting to get really cold, so I'm probably going to reassemble this here in a minute and call it a day. I just want to take a look at a couple more things. I'm going to see if I can't get the, the heating element off for right now.
There's the heating element. All right, guys, my feet are getting super cold, so I think I'm just gonna go ahead and reassemble the dryer. I'm just gonna put the uh, front back on and then put the top on. That way, if it rains or anything, it keeps everything that's inside dry. So let's go ahead and put the front back on. All right, guys, so I got it put back together. Um, I thank you guys for coming along with us again. And remember to click that subscribe button. Now, for those of you that made a, or made some guesses at some of the things I was going to use this for, um, go ahead down in the comments section. Let me know if you're still thinking on the same thing or if you're changing your mind based off of what you've seen me do today. All right. Remember to click that subscribe button and click that bell so you know when I upload my next video so you'll be able to uh, follow along with this project. Thanks, guys. Have a great day. Bye.